Okay, we are back on the Vinyl Spinner Show. Yes. I'm Radio's DJ Johnny K. Hello. And I'm here with part-time co-host Yevgenia. Hi. <laughs> and she wants to read an article to you because it is about her after all. Yeah. So go ahead. The intern is coming to U University of the Fraser Valley. Students will complete for cash job experience. Oh, okay, just stop for a sec. But, so this is a bit behind because it's already here actually, right? Yeah. So, so you, those of you who were actually listening earlier and paying attention and taking notes, of course, yes. you'll know that, um, you know, Yevgenia is taking part of this. It's already on. So this article is came out a bit earlier. What's the date on the newspaper there? Look at the front or on the top, whatever. Friday, April 16th. Okay, so this is from April 16th. So, but this is giving you some background on what she was talking about earlier. Okay, go ahead. By now, U of E students and staff will surely have taken heed of the posters um, which can be found on the walls over campus that read you are fired and sport business like man who is packing this nazi stage. Uh, they form um, U of E's own version of the apprentice. Ap ap what is this? Apprentice. Yeah, Apprentice? Yeah. Apprentice. The reality show which features Donald Trump making ground people cry and from a casual viewing includes something virtually pertaining to the business world. The validity of trans money grab air show aside, youth voice entrance seems set to help local contestants learn abilities and develop their mind for their future careers. The intern is the branch child of four-year UFV student Bridget McKenzie, who developed the idea as a practicum for her communication for 13 class. McKenzie explained that the practicum initially began as a social networking research project and through the creative team of the Abin News, it, in, it evolved into the intern. The intern is a competition diverse in its scope with reward for uh, Vin and Intern begin an opportunity to work with the Abbotsford Entertainment Center for five weeks and receive $5,000. The application process is going very well, Mackenzie said. Thirty students attended an information se session on m March 31st, and many of them signed on filling out the required application form complete with photographs. Hey, just stop for a sec. By the way, folks, check out the supplementary video footage on YouTube. And uh, I'm, I'm at the same time, I'm learning how to be a videographer. <laughs> I'm checking out different uh, ways of like filming here. Okay, keep going. Multifactional. <laughs> Multifactional. <laughs> the competition will help out more than just the interns. It will be run by the Abbotsford News with assistance from the Abbotsford Entertainment and Sports Center and UFV. Mackenzie started. This will provide UFV students the opportunity to complete for a high-profile employment opportunity. This will benefit the community because there are many local businesses participating and will involve our UFV community. For more information and possible Facebook page. Thanks a lot. And if you're gonna vote, vote for my team, Galaxy Ball. I'm with Michael Lemieux. My name is Chenya Mamedova. Stay tuned. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is the article from Cascade. Okay. About the internet. Okay, cool. Now I have an article that I want to read. So here, sure. you you take over. Oh, let's say. Oh, let's say how to get uh, yes. all these records, man. Hello. What's he doing? Okay, no, we don't have time okay, to. Okay, we just don't have that. a guest. We have a new. <laughs> okay, so here's my article for yeah. today. Just a bad temper, or is your child mentally ill? This is also from a few weeks ago. Mm -hmm. Okay, severe outbursts grossly out of proportion to the situation in the form of verbal rages or physical aggression several times a week to parents. These would seem the most common elements of childhood temper tantrums. They are also the proposed criteria for a new childhood mental disorder called temper dysregulation disorder and dysphoria. 
The disorder is being recommended for inclusion in the next edition of the Diagnostic and Statistical Manual of Mental Disorders, or DSM, a massive catalog of brain dysfunction now undergoing its first major, major revision in 16 years. It is considered the psychiatrist's bible of mental disorders. Just so they can sell more, more pills and drugs to you. Thanks, yeah. um, Curse Apples, for suggesting that to me. But I agree. If accepted, TDD could soon become as entrenched in our vernacular as ADD. What's that? Wow. Oh, I must have ADD because I was distracted by something once. Gosh. The disorder is being proposed as an alternative to the runway, runaway diagnosis of childhood bipolar disorder. The number of children being diagnosed with and medicated for bipolar disorder has shot up dramatically in the past decade despite concerns that many don't meet the official criteria, but are getting the lifelong label nonetheless because of their explosive temper outbursts. Oh my God. Can't have a temper. <laughs> the idea behind TDD is to create a less severe diagnostic, diagnostic home for these children. The fear is that TDD could open the door to the diagnosis of any child with a bad temper that it risks pathologizing a normal part of a child's development and could lead to wider prescribing of antipsychotics, antidepressants, and mood stabilizers to children, including preschoolers barely out of training pants. Exactly. <laughs> it's an extremely significant move and it's a very alarming one, says Chris, Christopher Lane, author of Shyness, How Normal Behavior Became a Sickness. Infants and children have meltdowns regularly and routinely, Mr. Lane says. It's a healthy expression of frustration. It's a very serious move to contemplate that as a bona fide mental illness, which is what they're very seriously proposing. You tell them, Mr. Lane. The overdiagnosis of bipolar has been a colossal embarrassment to the field, says Edward Shorter, a professor, a professor of the history of medicine and professor of psychiatry at the University of Toronto's Faculty of Medicine. So they've tried to come up with another diagnosis that will somehow let you diagnose unruly children. But maybe they're unruly, full stop. To give them a psychiatric, psych psychiatric diagnosis and treat them with antipsychotics is insane. Boy, I did a lousy job on that. Oh well. I must have a mental disorder! <laughs> But Dr. William Nero, a research director for the task force writing the new edition of the DSM, says TDD, TDD isn't run-of-the-mill temper, ten, temper tantrums. Oh, I'm hearing things now too. Whoa. We're not talking about the tantrum. Oh, we're not talking about the temper tantrum of a two-year-old or a three-year-old who's not getting his weight. Dr. Nero says we're talking about kids age of six or above who kind of have a hair trigger and really quite violent temper tantrums totally out of proportion to any kind of provocation that might have brought them on. Something out of the norm of what you'd call a normal temper tantrum. And these are the kids who were receiving a diagnosis of bipolar disorder. Wow. Yeah, you know what I see, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. ooh, ooh. <laughs> okay. So, you know what? I'm really up. You know why that makes me upset? No. It's because it's just, oh, I want that piece of paper back. Okay, hold on. Oh, I didn't take my medication today, but... Mental disorder. Yeah, that's right. Be patient. <laughs> <laughs> but, okay, what bugs me about that is yeah. it's just another case of diagnosing anybody who is not in the 50 plus percent majority of, like, accepted behavior, yeah. diagnosing them with some kind of disorder. Oh, well, if that person's a bit different, that person has a disorder. Then like Barry is. here. <laughs> oh, he has like a million disorders, this guy. <laughs> hey! You're, you're a walking plethora. Plethora. Sorry. <laughs> plethora. Uh, you know why I say plethora? Why? Because I had a friend once who said, who, who would like to say plethora. And, and it always bugged me because it's plethora. It's or mental it? disorder. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's a plethoric mental mental disorder. Anyway, <laughs> um, but anyway, so so what we're what we're just ranting about is the fact that anybody who's like out of the norm, which is the the fifty plus percentage of the population, they there's something wrong with them. Yeah, what do we okay? need to do? And 
Well, what we need to do is to take these psychiatrists, take away their <laughs> degrees, and lock them up. No, maybe that's a bit extreme. Maybe just some of them. Send 